So now let's solve our third example. Um, this happens to be a mid semester question, 2016 mid semester question. And then we are asked to find the current flowing through the 1 ohm resistor using superposition. Now, according to superposition, when you have multiple sources, then you can consider one of the sources at a time and then you deactivate the rest. So, in this question, we have three sources. We have one voltage source and two current sources. So what we are going to do is to consider one of the sources at a time and then we deactivate the other sources and we try to find the current flowing through the one ohm resistor. And then we do same for the other two. So that at the end, we are going to sum up the current values or the current that flows through the one ohm resistor so that we can have the total current flowing through the one ohm resistor. So to begin with, let's consider the four volts first. So we are going to let the four volts act alone. Now, if the four volts is acting alone, then let's redraw the circuit. So we are going to have the four volts here. And then we have the two ohm resistor. We also have the three ohm resistor. And then we have this one ohm. Okay. Now, because we have a current source here, it's going to be an open circuit. So we have an open circuit here. And then we also have an open circuit also here because we have a current source that is one ampere. So we are going to find the current that is produced by the four volts. So now let's represent that current as I T prime. Now because the current is going to flow through the two resistors, then they are connected in series. So R T prime is 2 plus 1 which is 3 ohms so the current it prime which is produced by the 4 volts is going to be 4 divided by 3 which is 1.333 amperes now because we have an open circuit here or the current would like to flow in this direction at this point the current would like to flow in this direction now the current flowing through the one ohm we can represent that as ia okay and then we realize that the current it prime which is produced by the four volts is the same current that flows through the one ohm resistor so we can say that IT prime is equal to IE, which is equal to 1.333 amperes. So that is the current that is going to flow through the 1 ohm resistor if the 4 volts is acting alone. So now let's consider the 1 ampere. Now, if the 1 ampere is acting alone, Let's try to redraw the circuit. Now, because we have a voltage source, it's going to be a short circuit. So we have something like this. And then we have the two ohm resistor. Then we also have the three ohm resistor. We have this one ohm resistor. And then because we have a current source, it's going to be an open circuit. And then we have this one ampere. And 
Now let's label the current flowing through the 1 ohm resistor as IB. Okay. Now, because we have an open circuit here, this current, this 1 ampere, will not flow in this direction. It's going to flow in this direction instead. So we have the 1 ampere moving in this direction, flowing through the 3 ohms resistor. And then at this point, because we have two resistors connected in parallel then we are going to use the current division rule to split the current however we are interested in the current ib or the current flowing through the one ohm resistor so using the current division rule then ib is equal to this resistor okay or the value of this resistor divided by the sum of the two resistors that is 2 plus 1 times the total current approaching the junction which is 1 ampere so we are going to have 2 over 3 times 1 now 2 over 3 times 1 is equal to 0 0.667 amperes so this is the value of current flowing through the one ohm resistor if the one ampere current source is acting alone so now we are going to consider the three amperes and then we are going to deactivate the four volts and then the one ampere so now considering the three amperes current we are going to make this three amperes act alone So let's redraw the circuit. So because we have a voltage source, then it's going to be a short circuit. So we have this short circuit. We have the two ohms resistor. We have the one ohm resistor. And then we have the three ohms resistor. And then we have the 3 amperes current. Now, because we have a current source, it's going to be an open circuit. So there's it. So now we are going to label the current that is going to flow through the 1 ohm resistor as IC. Now this 3 ampere current or the 3 amperes current is going to flow in this direction because we have an open circuit all the current will like to flow in this direction and then at this point we have the 3 amperes current approaching this junction which means that we are going to split the current now using the current division rule IC is equal to 2 divided by 2 plus 1 times 3 amperes so that's going to be 2 divided by 3 times 3 so 3 cancels 3 and then we have IC to be 2 amperes so that is the current flowing through the 1 ohm resistor when the 3 amperes current is acting alone now let's note the direction when the 4 volt was acting alone we got current IA to be 1.333A which was pointing to the south and then for IB we also had the same direction and then for IC we also have the same direction so now the total current that is I1 ohm flowing through the 1 ohm resistor is going to be IA plus IB plus IC now for IA we had 1.333 and then for IB we had 0 0.667
and for IC we had 2. So 1.333 plus 0 0.667 plus 2 is equal to 4. So the total current flowing through the 1 ohm resistor is equal to 4 amperes.